Hello everybody, Mel Lightweight here yet again. And let's see here, so today I have a Modern Warfare 2 gameplay for you. It's a CTF on Vacant. I know I haven't posted one of these in a few days. Uh, I've been focusing a lot on Halo 3 gameplays and Black Black Tango Downs. It's I like variety in my channel. So, you know, I'm using my typical setup for me being a tryhard, I guess. It's the M4A1 with holographic, you know, sleight of hand, stopping power, and ninja. Since that's what I feel most comfortable playing with. So, to start off, I'm going to be talking about my channel and different things that I'm going to be trying out. And then for the second half of this gameplay, I'm going to be talking about how to be a team slayer and what it means to be an effective team in um, objective and in slayer. But since uh, I'm playing a CTS, I'll probably be more objective based. So to begin, uh, you know, I talked about in my last video that I might start a series uh, for gaming news since I do enjoy paying attention to the industry and giving you guys links on different things that I think are worth reading into, or at least worth reading at all. So uh, I've been trying to figure out a title for that. I'm not really sure what I want to call it yet. The titles that I have right now that I'm looking at are This Week in Gaming and Miller Tongues Your Ear Hole. So if you guys like either of those or you have a suggestion of your own, definitely put that in the comments. I really appreciate to see what you guys think of those names, and if you can come up with a really cool one, I will use it and give you credit for it. So that would be awesome if you guys do that one. So moving on to what I do with the links, I've actually started up a Facebook fan page for my channel and a Twitter account. Now this Facebook fan page, you can find the link in the description. It's linked with the Twitter account, so anything I post on the Facebook page will be automatically sent to the Twitter account. So if you don't like using Facebook for whatever reason, you know, if you think Facebook's retarded, or you hate social networking sites, whatever, you can just get on Twitter and it'll be the exact same thing. And it's also vice versa. If you hate using Facebook, you can just get on Twitter and it's the exact same thing. So I'd appreciate it if you guys check those out. I will also add links to those in the description. And that would be awesome if you guys could uh, follow me on there. Uh, the links that I do post on Facebook and slash Twitter, uh, I will not always talk about them in my commentaries, but I will pick a, se I will pick a select few that we'll discuss in my commentaries and have fun with them. So, what else we got? Let's see. Open lobby. I know a few of you have asked, you know, when are you going to have an open lobby? I want to play with you. But, you know, my friends list is full right now. I do have people that I've played with for years on my friends list, and I have some of you subscribers actually on my list too, and we've had a few games together and had fun. But I know a lot more of you want to play with me, and that's cool. So, I thinking about having an open lobby soon, because so, you know, I just graduated to 800 subscribers, yay, it's awesome. So, you know, I'm not really sure when I'll do the open lobby, hopefully sometime soon, and I will announce that on the Facebook and Twitter pages accordingly, and I will definitely put it in the bulletin as well, you know, I'll try and get as, I'll try and make that as public as possible when that does happen. Uh, if I do have it soon, it'll probably be either Saturday or Sunday. Oh, also, that gaming news series that I just talked about a little bit ago will be coming out every Saturday. Uh, it'll be a, a week in between each, you know, every Saturday. And we'll just be talking about anything that I feel is, you know, worthy of speaking about uh, in terms of video game news. So, awesome. I think that's about it for talking about my channel. So let's start talking about the whole being a team player thing. You'll notice that I've been playing a lot of defense at the beginning of the game, but my role shifts pretty dramatically towards the uh, first quarter of the game into more of an offensive role. And that's because your roles are going to change constantly, especially when you're in a, an objective game like this and actually working with a team. So your roles are going to switch you know, all the time, depending on what the enemy team is doing, where they're located, and where, what your team is doing and where they're located. And that's kind of a, something that you'll have to learn just by playing the game. That's not something that anyone can really teach you. That's something that you would just have to grab intuitively. So as you can see here, since the guy had the flag, of course my whole purpose right now is switches directly to return that flag. That's all it has to be. It doesn't matter if I die, live, whatever. I'll get a harrier, who cares? It's all about returning the flag, because what matters is this score. That's the, that's the way it should be. You know, kill streaks from Monolith for 2 are kind of lays that over a bit, but I still care about the win and put my team Because uh, I'm playing, you know, with Tetra Ninja, Rags, and Red Brad, and, you know, we're definitely going for this win. So now, since I returned the guy, uh, turn, our gun, I'm gonna return our flag, uh, very soon I made a beeline straight for it. I didn't care, you know, whether live or die, it didn't matter. 
Now, what I should have done here, since I was completely flashed, was just go prone and lay there. Not try and move around or anything. I, try, I thought I could try and move, but no, he's safe. So the instant that I come back, I'm actually going straight for defense. But I noticed that the fucking flag carrier has actually got away from us, and he scored once. It was a big collective sigh, but it was okay. You know, we're still winning 4-1. Which is pretty damn good for a CTF. Capture the flag. And that's only going to get better. Capture the objective. So as I said, your, your roles are going to change constantly. Now, what also matters is that if a role, uh, if a role dynamic is ever shifted, like let's say you have a teammate playing defense and he dies, it's your job to take up his role. So fill, fill the roles that take priority, such as you know, returning the flag versus being a slayer or defense versus offense. Well, whichever one is most important basically that's the objective, is going to take priority over you playing a secondary role like being a slayer. So as you can see, since I returned the flag, you know, twice already, uh, maybe even three times, I didn't really pay attention there for a second, that uh, you know, contributed greatly to our winning this game. So I noticed that most of my team is located on the warehouse side, and I decided, you know, I need to take up on this side since there's no one over here. As again, you know, it makes sense that roles shift dynamically. So that's something you want to take into consideration when you're playing with a team. If you notice that your team isn't located in an area, that's definitely an area that the enemy will want to go to since it's, you know, less crowded. The passive path of less resistance. So I actually, my kill streaks, I actually didn't mention these, are actually Harrier, and then it's the AC-130, and then I do have Tactical Nuke Gun. I do go for the nuke, but I try to play the objective first. And right here, I'm just letting my Harriers do the work. Hopefully I can get that AC-130. Now, since I am the only guy on this side, I mean, now that's changing, because I did call out, come my side. And since these guys know my voice, you know, that happens, that, you know, he says, okay, sure, I'll come this side. And he makes a beeline straight for our flag, and we're gonna get another cap right now. Excellent. I'm actually going to speed this up when uh, I want to call my AC-130 since Labro actually uh, gets one. So you notice the video speeds up a little bit, and that's because I'm just waiting for Labro's AC-130 to get out of the way. So I can try for that nuke. I think he was actually doing the same thing. I'm not really sure, but I know we both dominated him because it was AC-130 and then AC-130. Now, a note about vacant and kill streaks is that it is kind of difficult to use kill streaks in this map because a lot of it is indoors and there's not many over uh, what's the word looking for? Broken windows in the top, skylights. That's it. Skylights. And there you go. There's my A130. I ran out of ammo with the M4 A1. But uh, let's see here. Repeat AC130. So there's the speed up. And on vacant, like I said, it's difficult for, for some reason too, my Harrier really didn't do much. I'm not sure why. It doesn't seem to acquire targets very easily on vacant. I don't know why that is, but whatever, it's interesting. So since I've never used an AC-130 on vacant before, I found it kind of interesting to know how many spaces there were in the roofs and everything. But definitely the spawn trapping is kind of easy, uh, considering... They do spawn behind these Enemy crates if they're on the defense side, which I spotted. consider to be defense side because it's much easier to spawn trap them, basically. Now, I'm just doing an awful job in my opinion on the AC-130 since there's just so many different areas for them to sit politely and wait to shoot me down. But let's see, what else we got here? So you notice that, yeah, okay, next point. So you notice that when I'm protecting the flight crew, I can protect the oh, I can kind of fail. But you notice that uh, because the whole aspect of this game has the person who's carrying the flag has that kill over their head for the opposing team, you want to learn their route, figure out where they're going to go, and then once they go that way, post up and aim directly opposite of the direction they're running. Because your teammate, not teammates, your enemies can actually see that route and figure it out. So typically people will just follow them blindly or cheat for whatever reason. And since you're already in their way, you can just take them out easy. Now I still am going for the nuke, but right now I'm just being a pain in the enemy's ass considering I'm out of ammo completely right now. And I'm like, well, screw it. You know, we're already up 9 to 1, so I might as well try and do my best. I think the game's actually going to end with my team dying. So 
Uh, that's all I got for you today, guys. It's a 34 and 7 on CTF. And if you haven't subscribed to me, I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.